Brittany J here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is based off of this look I posted right here on Facebook. You guys went crazy over it. You said you wanted to see a tutorial, so I went ahead and filmed it. I used the box of crayons palette, which is by the Crayon Case. Highly recommend. Very beautiful. I know a lot of you also wanted to see how you could use Drug Lord, the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Liquid Lipstick on your eyes and how it performs and if it's flaky, crusty, dusty, any of that, it actually is not. It works well, it's very opaque, it dries down all the way, it doesn't flake off, it lasts all day. I freaking think it's an amazing, amazing tool to use um, on your eyes. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look using the Crayon Case Palette and the Jeffree Star Cosmetic liquid lipstick and drug lord then please keep on watching so i prime my eyelid as always with the same thing the soft ochre paint pot by mac and i did not set it so we're just going to get right into this i'm going to be using this box of crayons palette by the crayon case the first shade that i used as my crease shade and my transition shade was this purple shade right here called deep plum so i'm going to put that all in the crease bringing it higher and higher till it fades away i'm going to take that shade on my m433 i have just did this look yesterday. Ooh, yeah, it's dirty. And I'm just gonna keep packing that on, not blending yet, just packing. And now I'm blending it in just a little bit. I'm gonna bring it just a little bit higher and pack it in higher up here as well. And now I'm gonna use the same brush and just go over the edge and blend that up. Remember, like I said before, you gotta lift them brows like that so you can have your skin as taut as possible. Once that's all blended to perfection, I'm going to go ahead and take my liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star Cosmetics in Drug Lord, and I'm going to use that to cut my crease. My eyelid's big enough for me to just use the wand directly, but if your eyelids are smaller, you may need to take a smaller brush to do it. You may need to double dip. It's not, it looks on camera like it's very opaque, but in person it's got a little bit of streakage and it's not gonna go all the way across. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry down for a second. It probably takes literally like one minute. It's not too bad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade, baby blue, right here. And I'm gonna put that on the inner one third of that lid. And then I'm gonna take this shade right here, violet, the purple, and put that right next to the blue. And with this brush, I'm blending the edges together. I'll also take the brush that I used with the blue and blend that together as well. So you get something like this. I'm gonna take that M433 again and fill in this back corner with that first shade that we used, the Deep Plum. Now I'm gonna take my R41 brush, which is this one right here, and I'm going to dip into the shade that's just called Black, that one right there and use that to deepen that outer bead just a little bit. So you're left with something that looks like this. Now for my liner, I used Drug Lord again and I took it on my M250-2, which is just this very thin pencil brush and I used that to do a wing. So once the white wing is on, I'm gonna take a little brush, this is the Morphe E19, and I'm gonna use it to do like an ombre effect. So the first shade I'm gonna use is that baby blue shade. I'm gonna put it right where the purple is. Once I've put a concentrated amount right there, I'm gonna blend it out each direction. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here in the palette 
this blue shade and I'm going to use that on the tail end of the wing. So now you have an ombre wing. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then come back so we can finish lashes, highlight, lipstick, and be Gucci and be ready to go. Do you guys like my shirt? It's got rainbows on it. I got this at Target. I'm not fondling myself. I got this at Target for like $13. Super cute. So here's what it looks like with lashes and the rest of my face done. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the highlight. So for highlighter, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. And I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Blue Moon, which is this one down here. I'm going to use that to highlight my face and my inner corners and brow bone. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and take that first shade that we use, the deep plum shade, the dark purple, and put that underneath. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the black shade and put that all in my waterline. And for lipstick, I mixed together these two shades, which are Human Nature and Sagittarius by Jeffree Star, to create like a purple ombre lip kind of thing. And this is the completed look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was really fun to do. Um, I like the way that it looks. It's very colorful, very spring. As opposed to my last video, which was very fall. I'm just so random all over the place. If you don't have the box of crayons palette, you need it in your life. This thing is bomb. I mean, I've showed it already, but look at all these colors. I mean. There's just so much you could do with that. And I'm a colorful girl by nature, so I just, I really love it. I think it turned out really well. Let me know what you guys think and what other color combinations you think I should do. Um, I'm thinking of doing something like red, yellow, orange, very fiery next, but let me know what you guys think. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you get a notification every time I upload a video. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my handle is just BJ Makeup, spelled out like that. And until next time, see you later guys. Bye. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look using the crayon case and Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip... If you guys want to see how I... <coughs> that was an inconvenient cough. Is that the word? Taut? Taut? What are you trying to do? Just, just, just stop. The first shade that I used as my crease shade and transition shade was... Fuck, which one was it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna take that shade on my R. Nope, that's not it. Um, this liquid lipstick here, I hate when I can't hold it right and show the damn name of the shade. Once that's all blended to perfection, I'm going ahead. I said it, I said it. Damn Nate, this, this is whiter than you. Let me know what you guys think and what other comment. No, don't say that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think and